Well, now 10 o'clock, as if traffic isn't bad enough here in Los Angeles with all the cars on the road, of course. Seems like drivers have to share freeways now with pedestrians and cyclists. Now, this was posted on Instagram this morning. CHP has noticed a rise in these kinds of dangerous encounters on our freeways. That's right, and tonight they're warning pedestrians to stay off the freeways. Kate Collins, Rachel Kim is live in Universal City with a look at some of these risky stunts. Rachel? Well, Susie and Jeff, to get around the Southland, we walk, we ride bikes, and we drive cars. There are, of course, designated places for all these things. But lately, the CHB says they're seeing more walking and bike riding on our busy freeways. Thursday morning's rush hour commute in L.A. started out normal for a man named J.D. until he and his dash cam saw this, a guy taking a stroll in the number one lane of the 110 North near Slauson. J.D. told us the man had headphones on and looked like he didn't have a care in the world as cars passed by him. Whether it be, you know, social media putting it out there, um, there does seem to be more instances. CHP officer Weston Haver says they're seeing more of this going on lately, whether it's pedestrians on the freeways or bicyclists. Earlier this month, a driver named Jake Asner recorded this man on two wheels casually riding on the 101 near Highland during the evening rush hour. A lot of the drivers were swerving. They were trying to get in the other lanes. And he almost got hit a couple times, so... Uh, it's pretty dangerous. Then there was also this a few weeks ago. A group of guys doing stunts on their bikes down the busy 110 through downtown LA. Officer Haver says all this is not only dangerous, it's illegal. This regulatory sign is on every freeway on ramp, approximately 50 feet or so up the freeway on ramp, telling uh, basically pedestrians prohibited on the freeway. Multiple infractions, multiple citation, you ultimately can uh, face jail time. As to why there seems to be more pedestrians and bicyclists on our freeways. We'd have to look at the correlation, whether, you know, it's possibly due to the homeless population or whatnot. There's a lot of different variables, whether it be under the influence, a broken down car, or simply don't know the state laws. Officer Haver also says if you come across someone walking or riding their bike on the freeway, just keep a safe distance and call 911. And they ask, please don't record any of this on your cell phones. If you have a passenger, ask them to do it. Reporting live tonight in Universal City, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.